Hello, Sindri. Today we're going to be reviewing the new Lakme Lumi cream um, that has been completely sold out everywhere apparently. Um, I did a video about this over at my Instagram. So if you guys want to go, this is my handle. I essentially did a reel where I just did like a short form way of reviewing this. And so let's talk a little bit about the product. So the Lakme Lumi cream is a moisturizer with highlighter. Um, it retails for about 299 for 30 gram of product. It comes in a outer casing that looks like this and when you open it it looks something like this it comes in a squeezy tube um, I do like how this is one of the things that I really dislike about this Lumi cream I'm just gonna get straight into the review is the smell of it it smells horrible I mean ugh. it smells like a perfume bottle in your face when you do have it on your face and it is very very strong when you do apply it there's one thing i definitely do not enjoy i really like the packaging it's very easy to use it's very convenient to use you can you can control the amount of product that comes out of this tube very easily so i really like the packaging for it in terms of the texture it is exactly like every other light cream that you would buy in the market but it is a tiny bit pink when you do apply it on your skin. I'm going to try to put the shot of me using it here or somewhere. And yeah, the smell of it is so strong. It like hits you. Although it is a really nice scent, but because it's on your face and I don't really like a lot of scents in my products, this is... It's not nice. I don't like it. Basically, that's what I'm getting at. So the consistency of this is very, very light when you do apply it on your skin. Um, it just gets absorbed. The thing with this product is that it's supposed to be a Lumi cream, which is basically an affordable version of a strobe cream. A strobe cream was first introduced, I think by MAC, I could be wrong. And you just use it underneath your makeup. It makes your skin look glowy. It makes your skin look I'm really hydrated and it makes your skin or makes your makeup look really glowy and really beautiful. Now that is that. I really like the consistency of it as you guys can see here as well. You can't really see that much of pink but you just blend it into your skin and it becomes this beautiful, I don't even know how to put it, it's just this sheen, this glisten and it does that and exactly that on your skin as well when you apply it on your face. Now there could be a little bit of confusion with this cream since it mentions to be a moisturizer with highlighter. The first ingredient in this is water, the second is niacinamide which is a big buzzword right now so if you're interested in that it has that. This third though is dimethicone which is something that I'm a bit worried about. Um, not that it's going to harm your skin, dimethicone is in everything, your hair, your facial products, your makeup and everything but in a moisturizer dimethicone can help you um, in retaining the moisture as well but at the same time it can also if you don't really cleanse your face properly it can create like a very weird layer and your skin will feel and your skin might feel like you are putting enough product on it but it's just not seeping through so that is something that can happen with this i'm not really that big into getting into ingredients of products because a lot of time i've seen people take one ingredient and kind of just like bastardize it and i don't really believe in that because a lot of times we don't really know what exactly that ingredient does in the formula so it is very important for you to see the ingredient vis-a-vis -vis the formula as compared to just like oh this dimethicone is bad you know so different things can do different things on your skin depending on the amount that they are in the formula so let's talk a little bit about the positives of this product one of the biggest positives is that this is a great affordable variant of a strobe cream brilliant and it goes beautifully underneath your makeup if you're somebody that wants that sort of like a glowy look and then apply your makeup on top of it this is a brilliant product for that another positive is that when you do apply it on your face it is an instant difference if you apply it on half of your face and the other half doesn't really have this product on you can tell that you have applied something that's making your skin glow um, on the side that you have this product on it does exactly what it says it's going to do <laughs> so it will definitely highlight your face it makes your whole face look like a shiny disco ball so if that's something that you like definitely try it but there are a couple of negatives in this as well uh, one of the biggest negatives is the fact that it smells like a perfume bottle it's not something that a lot of us really like to be very honest i mean i really hate the fact that how it smells um also the smell does not go away in 10 minutes it stays on your face for at least an hour so if you're somebody that gets 
um, headaches that are induced by sense or sight or other things basically if you have like a really sensitive nose i would not suggest that you try this it is very very crazy scented which is something that doesn't really come as a surprise because you know lakme as a brand has to kind of cater to a very very vast audience so it makes a lot of sense that you put scent in it because a lot of people really like heavy scented things so i saw a couple of influencers use this product as like a collaboration with the brand so i think they really wanted to focus on um the fact that how this can be used as a highlighter as well and you don't really have to use it all over your face and some people um ended up using it around their eyes like as an inner corner highlight and like here please do not for the love of god apply this on like close to your eyes don't do it it even says in the back of the packing that you're not supposed to be applying it it literally says avoid contact with eyes wash your eyes thoroughly with clean water and close i don't do it okay don't apply this as a highlighter around your eyes apart from that you can use you know um any which way that you want it does settle in dry patches it does settle in fine lines a tiny bit um for me it did that so if you're somebody that has a lot of dry patches if you have combination skin um please be wary of that it can settle on your dry patches so my skin did start tingling a tiny bit when i did apply this for the first time but it wasn't something that warrants like a warning or something but if you have really sensitive skin if you're sensitive to sense if you're sensitive to anything i would highly suggest you do a patch test of this before you try it i don't really think that are trial ones <laughs> available in the market but you should definitely try this before you buy it now the lakme lumi cream is supposed to be a moisturizer that can make your skin look like it's highlighted it will make your skin look like it's glowy and that's exactly what you guys need to realize it's not hydrating your skin it's making your skin look like it's super hydrated the difference between your skin looking like it's hydrated and your skin actually being hydrated now since it's a moisturizer with highlighter it moisturizes about like 20% and the other 80% is just the highlight particles in the moisturizer so if you're somebody that really looks for a lot of moisture in your moisturizer um forgo this and go for a moisturizer that actually moisturizes something like a neutrogena or something else or you can also do a lot of facial oils and everything that is actually going to help in kind of keeping the moisture in your skin and sealing that moisture this product is not for that this product is for the glow every single skin type can use this as a highlight underneath their makeup but if you're somebody that's using this as something to get glowy skin that's hydrated i wouldn't really suggest this so if you're somebody that has combination skin if you have oily skin if you have um normal skin with dry patches if you have oily skin with dry patches i would suggest you forego this and use a high um, use a moisturizer before and then you can use a tiny bit of this on top just to get the highlight effect i would highly recommend this to people who have normal skin combination skin anybody that wants a nice um strobe cream underneath their makeup you should definitely try this but please do not buy this thinking that it moisturizes your skin so well that it looks like it's glowing right um the glow that you're getting in this is literally from the highlighter which is the makeup aspect which is the makeup component of the product it is not the hydration of the product so if you have severely dehydrated skin if you have dry skin if you have dry patches i would suggest you stay away from this or if you've already purchased it apply a good moisturizer before apply good facial oil before apply a good serum before that hydrates your skin and then you can use it but yeah i also think this product isn't really that useful if you just want to apply this i feel like when you do apply this you look really shiny because i think they've put like too much of the highlight in it so if you think that you can just apply this and like go out it will look like your face is oily in about like half an hour you know what i mean so um if you have really dry skin and if that's the sort of look that you're going for you can definitely try this but i wouldn't really suggest it otherwise so all in all i think this is a good product but it has to be used 
for a specific purpose. Do not use this as a moisturizer. Um, use this as something that can moisturize but predominantly highlights your face. Um, also, if you have oily skin, it can make your face look like a shiny disco ball literally within 15 minutes. So that is something that you have to be wary of. You should also be wary of the fact that this does settle on dry patches. Um, yeah, apart from that, this is has been like a really great product for a lot of people. And a lot of people told me that this is completely sold out everywhere. So I guess Lakme has done something great. And I think, um, you know, a lot of people really like this. This was not a sponsored video. I would just like to clarify that. because a lot of people get confused if like I'm getting paid for this. I'm not. I always disclose if I'm collaborating with a brand. And right now it's not one of the cases. That being said, eh, that doesn't really change the way I look at the product. Um, I have worked in the past with Lakme. And they make a lot of really great products. They make a lot of sometimes questionable products here and there but yeah they are a great brand they've been um, they've been in the market for a very very long time i actually really like this product i would definitely be using this product um underneath my makeup at like weddings and all i would suggest this as like a makeup product to everyone so if you want a strobe cream underneath your makeup you should definitely try this it's a great thing i would not be suggesting this to people that have sensitive noses <laughs> also if you have sensitive skin stay away from this i don't know i think it's the scent that makes it like really jump like ticklish on your face um i would also i would highly suggest this you've already tried the lacme lumi cream definitely let me know in the comment section what exactly did you think about this product if you liked it if you didn't like it how exactly your experience was because i say this in every single video whatever i said in this um specific video is just my personal opinion and i'm just a normal person so it really helps people if you leave a comment leaving your like your actual reviews there if you have used it because then people can watch my videos and they can read your comments and they can put two and two together and then this and that really helps them decide if they want to try the product or not so please do leave your valuable comments in the comment section and that's about it i hope you guys like this video and if you have any questions please do leave them in the comment section if you have any video requests you can also leave that in the comment section if you want to follow me i am everywhere on social media all of my links are going to be in the the description box yeah also subscribe to this channel that's all